Hi, I'm Dr. Emma Humphreys from the Bob Graham Center for Public Service at the University of Florida. Congratulations, you are enrolled in a very cool course. And I'm not just saying that because it's my course. According to the syllabus, the purpose of this very student-centered digital course in civic engagement is to teach the knowledge and skills of engaged citizenship in the 21st century and to promote thoughtful student activism for the benefit of campus, local, state, and national communities. I think that means you're here to learn to want to be an engaged citizen in our democratic society and to learn how to do that. Most courses aim to teach you a bunch of stuff. This course is different. This course aims to instill in you a disposition toward engagement. We're going to make you want to be an engaged citizen. This course also aims to equip you with the skills to actually engage so that when you want to engage, you know how to do so. Get it? And I should add, along the way, I think you'll learn some stuff about government. Now I know what you're thinking. Hey Emma, that sounds great. What an innovative idea for a course. So how are we going to learn to want to be engaged and how to engage? Good question. Most online courses make you read a bunch of boring stuff, then watch a bunch of boring lectures, and then take a bunch of boring multiple choice quizzes. Not this course. In this course, you have three types of assignments, recs, challenges, and missions. With the exception of recs, which is short for requirements, you will always have a degree of choice over what you do. Challenges are like assignments. Whenever we're having a challenge week, you will get to choose one level one challenge and one level two challenge from a menu of options. Missions are the experiential component of the course. They will always require you to do something and they will often require you to leave the house. Missions will be ranked level one, two, or three based on the effort they demand. Throughout the entirety of the course, you will be expected to amass a total of 10 mission points. If you're a little confused, don't worry. All of this is explained in the syllabus, which you should read. We've also provided weekly to-do lists and calendars to keep you organized and on track. Lastly, the importance of civil dialogue to the health of our democratic republic cannot be overstated. It's really, really important. Accordingly, this course has two forms for dialogue, discussions and the wall. These will be explained to you later. For now, just know that I want you to take these seriously and to make thoughtful and civil contributions to them. Okay, that's all I've got. Let's have a great course and go Gators.